TX Stampin' Sharon. How about some masculine cards? Yeah? Okay. I've got some really great ideas to share with you on today's video. I hope that you're inspired. I hope that you go, hmm, I do like that for a masculine card. If you have any questions, leave a comment below the video and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Hey, while you're down there, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. And then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video like this or I go live on YouTube. Let's make some man cards. Today, we're gonna to be making a card from the new mini catalog. Making greeting cards to send to friends and family is, I just love doing it. And as card makers, we always love to learn new things, try new things. So I hope today's video helps you uh, learn something new and inspires you. So again, the mini catalog started August the 3rd, and I am so excited to share with you this lovely stamp set called Reflected in Nature. It's only $20, and I have made three cards showing you different ways to use this stamp set. You know, whenever you have to make a masculine card, you're like, oh, I don't know what to use. Everything I have is florals, or I do have that golf set, but he doesn't golf. This could be so generic for any masculine card or feminine card. Doesn't have to be masculine. Let's get started. We're going to use the help of our Stamparatus and I'm just going to use one plate. I have a piece of basic white and I want to utilize as much of the cardstock as I can because I'm gonna be using my snips to fussy cut this, cut it out. So I'm going to come over about right there. And I really want to encourage you to use the magnet uh, with your Stamparatus because we're gonna be doing several inkings and we need that paper to stay exactly where it's at. I have covered mine in a very colorful uh, duct tape and I've done that with a little tail so that I can pick it up easily. But also, um, it, if the two magnets happen to be near each other, Hopefully it will prevent them from breaking. These are true magnets and they can break, um, but yeah. Okay, so I want you to notice this part is darker, this part is softer. When I flip this, this becomes my darker part. And so to help you, I'm going to turn my Stamparatus sideways because we always want to remember that the top part is closer to the edge over here, okay? I'm going to be using three ink pads. I'm using Misty Moonlight, Balmy Blue, and Night of Navy. You can do this with just two colors of ink, but I loved the subtleness that, um, that it brought to bring in three. I always like to have another stamp pad underneath there. It kind of helps secure that um, this plate. So we're gonna ink up first, and I'm inking the entire stamp with Balmy Blue. I'm going to press this down, and then we're gonna open it up. Now, my lighter side did not come out as dark, so we're going to ink it up again. I need the lighter side to be more bold. Really gonna press on that area. There, that's better. Now we're gonna switch, and I'm gonna switch to Misty Moonlight, and I want to color the top part, the darker part. Remember, closest to the edge. And I'm actually going to come down So you can see that I have a little bit right there on this side. So if you will take a Stampin' Blend and just kind of blend that so that it's maybe a little bit more subtle, not so bold, and there's no line. We just don't want a line. Okay. So see how it just kind of gradually changes? Um, we've got a little bit here, but it just kind of gets darker. 
So now what I wanna do is I wanna switch to the Knight of Navy. And I'm only going to ink up the top part. This is gonna be so subtle, you may not be able to see it in the camera. Again, I don't want that line from my ink pad, so I'm just gonna kinda of soften that. Just like that. So it is so subtle that you may not be able to see on the camera. Let me pull it up some. Can you see how it's the balmy blue and then there is the misty moonlight. The cabin is more misty moonlight and then it's darker across the top. That is how they did it in the catalog on the sample page where the artist made the um, inspiration card. Now we're gonna bring our snips in and we're just going to cut exactly on the stamped image. I have some other cards where I didn't do that, so I'll be showing those to you. We just want all that white to go away. Now this little piece that fell off when I did my trimming is pretty darn close to what I need. I just need a very small sentiment layer. And I'm gonna ink this up with Misty Moonlight. Take time for you. Let's see if I can get that more centered. Ah, nope, we're gonna go with the other one. <laughs> okay, you could take this to your trimmer, but this is such a small piece, I'm just going to cut it with my snips. And I have a scrap piece of balmy blue. And so what I wanna do is I'm going to add it to, I'm gonna add this stamped piece to my balmy blue. And now I'm gonna pick this up and I'm just gonna give myself a margin. You don't have to be perfect. Don't stress. Just kind of following the waves, letting the scissors do the work. So while we have the snips in our hand, we're gonna do an old technique that um, you just rough up the edge and make it look jagged. I don't know, it was just something different that I wanted to do. This is an old technique. You know, I think the closer I get to my 27, uh, 24 years as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here on August the 27th, I'm just like, man, I'm, oh, remember that technique? Remember this technique? You know, so I, I'm just, I don't know, I guess I'm just going down memory lane over the years of different things that I have learned. Um, you know, so just giving it that rough look. You do wanna be careful. Don't cut yourself. Just leave the snips open. So since this is kind of a roughy, jaggedy kind of card anyway, let's just take our sentiment layer and we're gonna add it to the balmy blue scrap. And we're just gonna cut around it with our snips. You could get your paper trimmer if you want. Just 
gonna leave a little bit of a mat there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just give it a little jagged look. If you have old techniques that you've done years ago, share them with me as a comment. I would love to hear some. Um, I feel like I've done them all, but you know what? I know I haven't. So, um, you know, who knows? I may, I may show it here on a video. And I'll do a shout out to your name. There we go. So I wanted to use the new embossing folder, the Timber 3D embossing folder to add to my card. And I used Basic Watt Thick so that I would get a deeper impression. This is a really subtle kind of folder, but if you use a little bit thicker cardstock, you can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna take the um, Baker's Twine Essential Pack that has five different colors of Baker's Twine. And I'm going to wrap around my card several times. Leaving myself enough room to tie a bow. Okay, so then once you get it tied, then you'll be able to move it around however you want. And so for right now, we're, we're gonna go ahead and just push it off to the side. Let me fix my bow. Fix those tails a little bit. Now we wanna take this layer and we wanna tuck it underneath and we want that bow to go right across the middle of our frame. So again, we're going to use liquid glue Really want to get those edges down. Lift that up. And there we go. Once we have our bow exactly the way we want it, and you know, if you don't wanna do a bow, you could just wrap the twine and not do an actual tied bow. Just wrap the twine around. We're gonna add our sentiment layer, um, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and add this to our card base. bow is still a little bit too big. Okay. 
And we're gonna add some dimensionals to the back of our sentiment layer. And this is gonna help secure the ribbon, uh, the uh, twine on the front. Take time for you. Now, the addition to this card is a little bit fun. I'm gonna move my bow up out of the way. And I really wanted this to look like us, you know, so I wanted it shiny. So I pulled out my shimmery crystal effects. And I just started coloring, just putting some on. I don't want too much. I don't want it to take hours to dry. I just want a little bit on there. And then I took a paintbrush. Um, if you don't have a paintbrush, you, I don't know, could you use like a Q-tip um, or the end of something? I just wanted the, um, I, I didn't want the squiggly lines and I wanted it more solid. So I'm just smoothing out my squiggles. And then you do want to rinse this brush immediately because this is basically a glue. So we just want to get that glue out of there. Okay. Can you see how shiny? So fun, so fun. I hope that it's showing up on the camera because it is fun and it does look like it's frozen. Here's another masculine card for you. What do you think? I just, I did the same thing, the same stamping technique. I started with crumb cake, I went to soft suede, and then up here at the top, I did um, early espresso, okay? I do have a tutorial that shows all of these samples and ideas so that um, you, you can remember if you want to, you can get that on my blog. Uh, go below the video and click the show more button and then scroll down and you'll see the blog link for today's blog post. Um, this paper, where did I get it? Let me show you. Celebration started August the 3rd where for every $50 you spend, you can choose something for free. If you wanted this sparkly paper with a $50 order, you could get it for free. There's the penguins. Now, there is a question. So wherever you see the little uh, logo, the little circles, you'll see the word free and you'll see the item. But sometimes you'll see another item like this says coordinates with Penguin Place Bundle and it gives you the item code. This is from the... Um, um, this is from the mini catalog, so you can't get this for free, but you can get the coordinating paper. That question has already come up a couple of times. Okay, here is my beautifully penned designer series paper that I got for free for $50, or $50 order, and that is the back side of this paper. Let me show you. So here is the paper, and there is the pattern. Now this paper goes with the hand penned uh, stamp set that is in the annual catalog. You get four sheets of each pattern and then the pattern changes. And there is the paper I used. Could be used for Halloween, just saying. Looks a little spooky, but it worked out great for my card that I did. So again, I got all this paper for free with my $50 order to make this great masculine card. Now, Celebration is gonna go through um, September 30th of 2021, so you have about two months. And there's so many things in here that coordinates with something else. Stampin' Up! has never done this before, and so I've been super excited that um, we actually have a celebration where it coordinates with holiday items and stuff like that. Let's talk about counting sheep. So counting sheep, there's my, my free circle. I can get that for free with a $50 order. I can get the dies that cut out the sheep 
free with a $50 order. I do have to place a $100 order to get both of them. So just want you to understand that. Whenever there is a new catalog that comes out, everybody always has a very large wish list. If that is you, I would love to invite you to join my team during celebration because you're going to spend $99. You're going to shop for up to $125 in this catalog or the large annual catalog. Anything you want, you totally customize your starter kit. And then, but you get to shop for up to $125. You're only going to pay $99. You will pay sales tax on the $99, but you get free shipping. And you get to pick one of these uh, bundles from the mini for free. This information is on my blog, coordinating with today's blog post. So I just want to point that out to you. You know, give it a try. I always invite everybody to give it a try, being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. There's so many benefits. You get 20% off every time you place an order from yourself. If it doesn't work out, just come back to me and be a happy shopper. It's all good. But this is such a sweet deal. I just have to share it with you. It is my job to tell you that. I hope that you're inspired by my masculine cards. You know, um, there's no flowers, there's no pink, it's all masculine. But again, this could be used for a lady too. Happy stamping, y'all. Mm -hmm.